Kentucky Crafter and welcome back to my craft room. I realized that I never did a final walkthrough of this Peter Pan journal. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, some of the things that I, um, I, I don't think I showed you all, for example, are these um, little corner protectors that I put on here. Put them on the front and on the back. And then um, I think you all saw this in the original flip through of the, the spine. So I do the hidden spine with the fabric covering it. And then I add the little golden strip to the front and the back. Because it's just not a little golden book without it. <laughs> all right, so um, let me flip through it and show you all of the things that I have added in here. So this one's from 1996. So I've added a bunch of scrap papers that um, I really think coordinate really well. And I kind of put them in the parts where I thought they coordinated well but I'll probably ship them, you know, separate in a little packet because I have a bunch of other little goodies over here to the right that I'll show you all. But I just wanted to, to give you an example of just how you could continue to decorate in this journal with these pages here. So some of the things I've added, so I've added some vintage map pages here some doily and some cut aparts and some more scrap paper. I've added some vintage tea dyed music paper and some more scraps. Um, here I have a vintage playing card of a little fairy, which I thought was appropriate with Tinkerbell. And then there's goodies inside this envelope here. And then in the side tuck, I've added another vintage playing card. And this kind of reminded me of London a little bit. So that's why I put that in here. And then some uh, a glassine bag that you can decorate with and some tea dyed doily. I've also added some more scrap paper and a guest check page that you can decorate and some more scrap paper and some tickets that you can decorate with. I've also added some tags that I made. So here's um, one of the tags and these are vintage book pages and vintage stamps. And um, I just, I love how this turned out and added a little bit of lace at the top. And you can journal on the back. The other thing that I added were these tabs all along the sides. So you can see these two here. And then I, and so I have it running all through the side of the journal. You can see alternating fabric and lace. Then I've also added some vintage book pages in here. So here's one from another Peter Pan book. Isn't that just adorable? I just think that's so cute. And then you have Peter on the back. Yeah, and then just some, um, again, some more scrapbook paper that I thought went really nicely with the color tones on these pages here. And then here I have a vintage letter. Um, this is from 1930 envelope and the stamp. And then some little strip of scrapbook paper. And then here I added another playing card, vintage playing card. It kind of coordinates with the other one. And then some more scraps of paper and I guess another guest check. And this page, um, I thought it was just perfect. Dream, wish, believe is, you know, um, of the songs in, in um, Peter Pan, and this kind of has stars on the back. So I just thought that was beautiful, and it went so well with this avocado dyed paper 
and I have these bulbs, bulb pens with some beads in them. And then here's some more scrap papers and tickets and a cut apart and I sewed around that just to add a little something to that. Let's see. And you've seen all these as I did the original flip through. So I'm not gonna go through those. And then here's just another really fun page that I think coordinates nicely here. So I stuck that in here. <clears throat> and then this is just a side flip of some vintage um, shorthand paper. <clears throat> and in this triple pocket, I've loaded it down with some um, a vintage playing card. I like the steamboat. Reminds me of, of Peter Pan. And then just some cut aparts, doilies, tickets, and then another tag that I made with vintage materials. And then I sewed around that one as well. Give it a little fun flair. And then here I've added some scrapbook paper and um, tickets and some more um, scrapbook paper. And these are double wide, so you can have, have lots to play with there. Here's another vintage card, American Tote. Hope that color went nicely with this. And then this page here, look at that scrapbook page. Look how well it goes with that. So you can do a lot, have a lot of fun decorate. You could decorate the belly band with this. Um, decorate and you know make a tag and put it in there all sorts of fun things you can do with that this is a dried flower it's an iris um, here's another tag <clears throat> that I made so so cute another vintage book page a vintage um, page uh, from a Disney and what I did here is I shrunk down the image on my copier um, so it could make it fit. So it's a, a replication of a vintage image, but and then some more scrapbook page. This is a fun little scrap that I had that I just thought I would throw in here from another project. <clears throat> but I just, I love that denim. And then here's some map scrapbook page, which I think is neat. And these ribbons I used and trims, those are vintage as well. Got another secret flip up here. Um, here I added another vintage playing card. And again, I just thought the gold on here was really neat. And then another uh, vintage envelope. This one's from uh, 1930 as well. And the stamp. And then the guest check. Here's another fun uh, vintage playing card. Um, and it's a map. And I just thought that would go perfectly in here because he's looking at his map. And then I have another vintage <clears throat> book page that I've included from another Peter Pan book. I thought that went nice in here. And I like how this is a map as well. Yeah. And then here I added some avocado dyed paper, a guest check, and some more scraps of paper. So you can see I've added tons of stuff that I never shared with you all in the first video. Some doily tickets and paper scraps. And then in the second signature, I've added this little mermaid charm. So in the first signature, it was Tinkerbell. Here, so we got Tinkerbell. And then in the signature, we have a little mermaid. And 
I love the addition of these tabs, what it gives. Um, another vintage playing card, tickets, and here's another um, vintage book page. And there's the mermaids there. So, super cute. And then another tag. And this is with the um, ship flying. And I thought that went really nicely here. And some vintage book page and, and stamps. And here's another fun little book page. I thought those little children were really cute. Could do a lot with that. And some more scraps of paper. Some more vintage trim. And I think we're getting to the end. Oh, yes. And another uh, vintage playing card. So that was pretty with the butterflies and some tickets. And here's some dried flowers in this little pocket. And then I added this um, back here. I mean, I made this a pocket, but I went ahead and included this in case you want to glue that down. You can glue it down underneath the pocket so you could still tuck things in there. Or you could glue it on top if you don't want to use it as a pocket. Or you could put it elsewhere in the journal. You could decorate it and stick it on another page. So um, those, are, those are the options for you. So those are all the things. See, look how nice that looks with those tabs on there. Um, and I apologize. I, I can't believe I never did a final, final flip through of this journal. I also have um, a couple more things to show you all. So I'll put that over here. So I also did a spine dangle. And I'll show you the spine dangle next. So this is the spine dangle. And I'll clip it on here in a minute. So I have this beautiful vintage button. Let's see if I should zoom in, maybe. Let me zoom in a little bit. Let's see, how does that look? That looks pretty good. So I have this vintage button here. I have this um, skull which I thought was fun to go with the Skull Island. Um, I have, this is a clock, kind of a nod to when they go past Big Ben in London. And then this, just a pretty pink shell, kind of a nod to the pinks in the book cover and the back uh, cover. So you have a little bit of pink here and they have pink here. So I thought that just would accent nicely. Um, and then we just have a little bead, and then I added a little, a little feather right here. Nod to the Native Americans in the book. Um, and then this is another vintage bead, just so pretty. Um, and this is as well. These are both vintage beads. These beads are from um, the 1950s or earlier. And then I have a little mermaid on the spine dangle. And then this is another, this is a, uh, a China, um, uh, made out of China button, vintage button. I think that's the 1920s or 30s. And then I added this key, kind of has a crown on it and a nod to London. And then we have, um, a wooden bead over here. And then, you know, you can see the lace trims. Um, kind of behind here. So I have this um, daisy trim and then I just have some different pink and beige and some yellow and white and some kind of cream colored uh, laces. And that is the spine dangle. I just think it's so pretty. I really like how it turned out. And I can clip it on the book so you can see what it looks like on the book. So you just clip it right here. And I like the removable. Let me put it over here so I can see you all. Sorry. Sorry. 
So you just clip it on right there. And then you can arrange it however you want. So that's kind of how it looks when it's hanging. You can fuss with it if you want, but I like it just to kind of, however it ends up, it ends up. So that's the spine dangle. And then the last thing I wanted to show you all was a um, bunch of uh, vintage papers that I include as well. And um, I will most likely fold these up and stick them inside the journal. Um, so here's some vintage book page. This is from the 1800s and they have really neat little images on here. Um, so that's included. And then some um, avocado dyed paper. Here's a vintage bird book page. Here is a um, vintage diary page from 1940s. And here's some more book page, vintage book page from a children's book. And here is some more. I like to give you a variety of book pages with the different um, different coloring on them. Um, just to give you some interest. So here's some more book pages. Here's some dictionary pages. Um, it's, it's either German or Italian um, or Spanish. I forget which, which one I grabbed it out of. Here's some vintage music page, three little kittens on this side. And this is London Bridge, which I thought was appropriate for, um, you know, since the story is set in London. So you have both pages of the London Bridge song um, and then the backs of those. So you have a bonus song on the back. And then this is, this is really, really old. This is, um, 1910, so it's very fragile, um, but I like this dancing song and the Indian song. It would be fun to put in here. Here's some vintage shorthand pages and a couple vintage ledger pages. So all this is included as well. So I wanted to do a proper flip, flip through of this journal that's for sale. Oh, and last but not least, I have some vintage um, stamps in here. And I just love this one of a ship. Um, and then just some uh, a variety of, of vintage stamps. Um, the canoe I also thought was fun. And the old uh, wagon. And then just some other ones in here for your... You know, you can make clusters with these. You can put them on tags. You can put them on any of the pages in your journal. So lots of options for you there. But anyway, so this journal's for sale in my Etsy shop. And um, thank you for watching. I wanted to give you a proper flip through of it. Um, so I didn't make it super chunky. Sometimes I can make them pretty chunky, but this one's pretty good here. And I mean, adding this stuff in will probably make it a little bit chunkier. Um, I may just kind of um, fold it and just... Um, mail it separately with the journal. I'll kind of see um, how that how that works. But anyway, um, let me know what you think of the journal, the finally finished completed one. Leave comments down below. It really helps my channel grow if you leave comments and also if you hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would invite you to subscribe. Um, we have, I have a ton of videos on here and I'm going to be adding a whole lot more as we move into 2022 and I'd love to have you with me and get to know you a little bit more. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.